Okay, here we go. We're going to start on video two for like the third time now. I'm having some uh, issues with this recording software, but hopefully we just got it fixed. So I'm going to start dark green core up again. Like I said, it's either going to be an icon up here or down here. And as I mentioned before, I do have Pro on here, but I kind of hide the icons because it's kind of confusing. I don't use Pro unless I'm tethered with a whole bunch of other computers. <clears throat> anyway, we're going to start dark room. It's going to tell me I don't have a camera. Oh, it didn't. didn't do it that time. Um, like I said, it's always probably going to start in the photo library, and you want to go in and always add a photo library. So I deleted the one that we were working on earlier. So we're going to do this like we did before. We're going to start a new catalog. Uh, we're going to call this one Golf Test. We're going to be showing you how to set up for golf. None of this other is important. Just hit finish. Now you got that catalog selected, and by default, it puts you in there. Go to Photo Workshop. There's nothing in here now, no images. So we're going to go to Setup again down here at Setup tab and Camera Options. And I've already checked this on one of the other videos, but normally it's in auto detect USB cameras so that if you're tethered to this laptop, it'll find your camera and it tells you the supported cameras. Most of them are supported nowadays. Uh, so we're going to do a hot folder. So I'm going to hit use a hot folder and then I'm going to hit setup and it should ask me where I want to go to. And if I've already got mine set, but you can browse anywhere that you want your hot folder to be on your computer or in our case we're doing it on Dropbox so I'll just kind of show you it's this in Dropbox and it's going to a folder called golf test but you can point this anywhere you want to or make a new folder okay and then here it's telling me that images that are dropped in the Dropbox once they're imported into photo workshop they get removed from Dropbox and then they get put in a folder here called Backup Pictures. And you can, again, set this anywhere you want. I just got a folder in my pictures called Backup Photos. All right. So that's pretty much the setup of getting the hot folder ready. And <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my photo workshop and... Let's see if I can do this without, I don't know exactly. I'm going to turn off auto print. Maybe that's what it is. I'm going to try this. I'm not real familiar with uh, green core. Being able to pause what in triprism we call this the process or how to pause the prop the the processor so it doesn't print maybe the auto print is what it is I'll see here in just a second this is something new for me just to show y'all but normally that would leave that on okay so I'm gonna go into my pictures and I'm just gonna grab some samples out of one of these and find something that's golf related Golf pictures there. Yeah, there we go. Let's do the edited one. So we're gonna grab just a few of these. I'm gonna copy them. And then I'm gonna go into that Dropbox folder called Golf Test. You see, I got a lot of folders in there. Golf Test, and I'm gonna paste them in there okay. and it didn't do what I wanted it to but you notice that you heard that noise and now you don't see any pictures in there it's because it imported them into so I'm going to go ahead and turn this back on because that didn't do nothing I guess maybe the print queue or there's got to be a button somewhere that that pauses that from printing anyway it brought those pictures into 
darker in cord and that's what it does when people are out on the golf course taking photos and they drop them into the drop box and there's several ways to do that uh, what Terry does is he uses his Wi-Fi on his camera to send them to his phone and then on his phone he can put them in my drop box for me you can also use a card reader plug into your phone if you have the right adapters I've got them for apples but I don't have them for everything <clears throat> plug that in put your SD card in there and then pick the pictures you want and it'll save it to your phone on either one you want to save them and then you can add them in the box from there that's the way I do it because my Wi-Fi on my icon sucks anyway this would be the image that came in and then when I go back to the clubhouse every so often, I'll see what pictures are there. And I print them. So typically it would have a border down here uh, for whatever golf event you're doing. And then you send them off to the wherever you want to send them off to. I'm going to do a print to file on this one. And if we go into... The print to file folder in my pictures I go to the right spot uh, darkroom print to file I don't know exactly where it's putting these let's see if I put them there should be put in one of these four by six ones I don't see them there I just have to go check that where it's actually sending them we'll do that real quick so you can see how to do that let's go in here um, we're, we're looking at these packages so I'm gonna go to setup and I'm gonna go to packages products and services package groups and by default go on the 4x6 package I'm gonna click that and then we'll go in here where this print to file is and I click on that and it'll tell me where it's going it's going to event photos test so it's not even going close. I'm going to go ahead and change that to where it needs to be going. It needs to be going into here. And you can do any of these. I'm just going to go ahead and put it um, in this one. And then you hit apply. And I always do it full size. Uh, it doesn't matter about this template down here. Hit full size, and now if I go back there and I do a, a digital file, place the order, it should be in this folder here, and in this folder here, and there it is right there. And I just sent, so then I have a copy of it. I do that. So that I want, when I get back at the end of the day, if it had a border on it, it would have printed the border on there too. Then I've got all their pictures ready to be uploaded. And I don't have to worry about anything. That's basically how you do a set up a job, set up a folder in Dropbox, and have those pictures imported in. Now, another way, I'm just going to go ahead and cover this. Don't have anything to do with golf, but if you're at an event, have somebody walking around with a camera and every so often they come back with their memory card and they want to add them to the, uh, your gallery or your collection or whatever you want to call this um, you just go in here and you hit import you can hit quick import but I'm going to show you how to do import um, say I want to add this picture right here to my photo gallery over here I just scroll to wherever you know, it's just, it's just like looking at your file browser. You just find either their memory card with the JPEGs or what I do is I always take their memory card and copy them into a folder and then I'll go to that folder and add pictures. But anyway, you do this. Just go in and pick a picture and hit import. And you see it put it in your... It put it in your... Uh, 
to your workshop down here, your photo workshop, so that you can actually print it. We can do another one of those where we print. And then go to my pictures. And go back to that folder, and there it is again. So it's really simple, not hard. Uh, Darkroom software is a lot easier than the Triprism software that we use for some of our other jobs. <clears throat> but if you got any questions, just let me know. And thanks for watching.